Metro Boomin is undeniably one of the biggest producers of our generation, a pioneer of the modern trap sound. Personally, he's my favorite producer and one of my biggest inspirations. From being top 50 in the world on Spotify as a music producer, producing the Spider-Man soundtrack, to DJing in front of 30,000 people at Coachella. But what makes Metro's production so captivating? In this video, I'll be diving into my current favorite Metro song, then breaking down a sample I made inspired by it. The song I'm talking about is a leak called I Hate What Happened with Future. Produced by Metro and Boy Wonder, it has this dark, weird, spooky vibe to it, so I decided to make something in that style. I started out by using Melodyne to find out what notes were used in I Hate What Happened. And I found out it was a 1-5 or 4-1 progression, which Metro uses a lot. And once I found out what notes he used, I tweaked it a bit to make it my own. And I know Metro likes to use bells from Omnisphere, and so this preset is called the Soft Bell Metro preset. And this is what the pattern I ended up with sounds like. Super simple, and for the effects, I just added a half time with the mix down to 25% just to fill up the low end, and then an EQ to cut out some of the low unwanted frequencies. In the original song, Metro used this like dark, weird lead, so I added this lead from Omnisphere once again. It's called the Father Time Lead Preset. And for the effects, I just added a EQ to cut out some of the lows, and then a shaper box to make it pan left and right for a bit of movement. In a lot of Metro's production, he likes to add different parts to either the beat or sample, so I decided to do something similar with mine. I added this sound from Omnisphere, it's the Metro Synth HQ preset, and all it's doing is it's playing the same notes as the original progression, and this is what that sounds like. And for the effects, I added a OTT, and once again an EQ to cut out some of the lows to leave room for the bass. Going back to Metro having multiple parts, I decided to take out the lead and then add this bell from Omnisphere. It's called the Tape Celeste Strings preset. And for the effects, I just added a H delay. I've been told by a lot of producers around Metro, or even Metro himself, that he uses a lot of basses from Trillion, so I decided to add a bass from Trillion myself. It's called the Hybrid Bass Energy preset, and all it's doing is it's playing the root notes just with a couple filler notes to add a bit of movement. And once I had all the melodic parts down, I routed everything onto one mixer track, and I added a effect track with the basic vintage punch preset, and then a CLA to a just to glue everything together. And this is just what the sample sounds like by itself. And in terms of drums, Metro likes to keep his beats super simple to leave enough room for the artist. Most of the time, it's just a basic two-step hi-hat, not doing too much. So I added these drums from the new kit that I'm working on, So this is how I make beats inspired by Metro. If you liked any of the sounds used in this video, you can check out my site with all my kits and whatnot. And I also have a pack of 20 free samples similar to this that you guys can get down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Louis Oblin to stay connected. And here's the final beat.